Hey guys, Noel and Santino here, and it is a snow day, so I thought it would be fun to do a video for the YouTube channel. And today I would like to do a video uh, going over the At Games Sega Genesis HD, which we reviewed uh, briefly in a video uh, comparing this to the uh, Super Nintendo Classic. Today what I'd like to do is actually take a look at the compatibility with cartridges for this console because when I was testing this out at first uh, I was noticing that there were some cartridges uh, that I uh, tried to get to work on this that did not work and I know that there are cartridges uh, that I have that do work because I played them on my Sega CDX and I've played them on other at games Sega products so without further ado let's uh, take a look at the at games uh, Sega Genesis HD's compatibility in the background, we have Rocket Knight Adventure, which is a cartridge that I found at a flea market for not much money. So it's pretty uh, happy to find that there. Um, now, let's uh, take a look. This is the uh, the Ant Game Sega is playing right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, and here it is. Very, very pretty. Okay. Now, uh, let's uh, show how cartridges actually work on this thing here. Um, so, hold on, Santino. Let's... Okay, so, if you want to get a cartridge to work, you got to turn off the system, and then turn it on. And it takes a second to boot up. Here's the At Games logo. And we see how it loads the cartridge. Okay. So, this is Rocket Knight Adventure. Um, this is already in the console. So, it takes us, it shows that it loads the cartridge, and then it takes us to the um, select screen for all the different preloaded games to this console. Now again, this is something cool that the Super Nintendo Classic does not do. It doesn't give you the ability to play cartridges. So we can scroll up to the cartridge slot here and we can hit start and that'll let us play uh, the game. And because there was a save state on this game, you can't see because of the glare, but it's actually asking, um, you know, do we want the save state or not? Um, and for the sake of, uh, for the sake of this video, let's say we want to start a new game. So, here we go. Sega. And this game is going to play well because I've played this game a lot. So, <laughs> uh, I was just playing this on my Sega CDX through a SCART cable. It might be cool to add on this video the difference of playing this on the Sega CDX. Uh, versus playing this on the at game Sega. There's not much. Both both have excellent picture. Um, so, and really smooth gameplay. This game plays very well. All right. So let's um let's play a different game right now. Not that Rocket Knight isn't cool, because it is. In fact, we could do a whole video literally on uh, on Rocket Knight Adventure. But let's try something else. Uh, let's try Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Out of all the games on the uh, At Game Sega Genesis HD flashback, uh, this is the one that's most glaringly missing. This is one of the best Sonic games that is arguably the best Sonic game, um, especially when combined with Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, so let's uh, take a look and see if this plays on the Sega Genesis HD. So, we will... Shut it off like so. Take Rocket Knight out, and we will put in Sonic 3. Turn this on. Move our webcam up. We'll see what happens here. As always, this takes a second to load up. There's the At Games logo. And what ends up happening when this does not read a cartridge, it just starts it up like normal. So you, you saw, like, I can't get up to the cartridge slot on this. Yeah, this goes back down. So 
no Sonic 3 on this, which I don't understand. I was just playing Sonic 3 on my uh, Sega, uh, my Sega CDX, and it does not work on this. So, no Sonic 3 on the at game Sega Genesis. Uh, let's check out another one. This is the Sonic Classic Collection. Now, this game has Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine on it. Um, oh, Santino wants to play Mortal Kombat. Incidentally, Mortal Kombat 1 plays excellent on this. I haven't really checked out the others. Um, but uh, you want to you wanna play Mortal Kombat, buddy? Maybe in another video. This game uh, was highly controversial when I was in third grade, which I don't really understand why. A, B, A, C, A, B, B. Blood code. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's check out Sonic Classic Collection here. Sega Genesis Mortal Kombat is so much better than Super Nintendo's. That is not even kind of comparable. How much better the Sega Genesis Mortal Kombat is. So, in fact, I should do a video comparing those two. Because when I got the Super Nintendo Mortal Kombat years later, I grew up with the Sega one. I'm like, oh, cool, the Super Nintendo one. Let me see how it is. Because Super Nintendo's got better graphics for color palette than the Sega, and it was just not good at all uh, for lots of reasons that I'm going to go into in another, in another video. Look forward to that. <sighs> Let's play Sonic Classic Collection, see if this works. Three games in one. Now, it's important to know that all three of these games are on this console, so whether or not this cartridge works is kind of irrelevant, but let's just see if it plays it. I'll just put it in. Don't pull the cartridge out, buddy. It's already in. Let's see if this loads up. Which it will. It just always takes a second. At games. And this is loading the cartridge. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Because the last time I tried this, it loaded the cartridge and I couldn't play it. What you'll see is, you'll have... Hold on, bud. Two folders here. After the cartridge has been loaded... Now let's see what happens when I click on one of them. Starts up. But then I got a red screen here. I don't know <laughs> I don't know what this means. All right. So obviously this is not going to go well here. So let's uh, see if we can get out of this. Or if the game is just literally stuck. No, I can get out. Okay. Let's try this one. Stop. I hit start on it. And I've just got a black screen here. Nothing's happening. So. This Sonic Classics collection does not work on my at game Sega Genesis. And I just played this game on my Sega CDX, so I know that this game uh, is okay. It's not like it's so dirty that it won't work. Um, Alright, let's try some other games here. Let's uh, move our webcam back. Hello. Um, I want to say hi. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, so let's turn this off. Let's try the Cheeky Cheeky Boys. This is a very cool late 80s Capcom anime uh, side-scrolling uh, platformer with extremely beautiful graphics. I really like this game a lot. <sighs> Always blow on it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, we'll pop it in. Hopefully this works. Uh, there have been times when I've had to blow on games because they won't work the first time. Uh, and then when I blow on them again, they'll they'll work. So That happens with real Sega Gen like real Sega hardware too. So. Loads up. Nice. Okay. Let's uh hit start. Sega. Let's get a nice shot here. And this game plays really, really well. This looks insanely good on this. Honestly, I think this looks a little better than playing this going through my SCART cable on my Sega CD. 
my Sega CDX. Although it's kind of, they're it's really close. It's it's kind of a personal preference thing. But this plays really really well. There is this is super smooth. Music is dead on. Like this game, buddy? <laughs> you crawling over here? Walking over here? <laughs> oh no! I lost. Alright, let's try uh, something else here. This is a bit of a different game. We've played licensed Sega games. Let's play one that's not licensed by Sega. This is Exodus by the Wisdom Tree. This is a unlicensed Christian um, Bible game. I would totally use this uh, teaching uh, Sunday school because I am a Sunday school teacher. Um, this is essentially Dig Dug with, uh, with Moses. Okay. <laughs> it is just as fun as it sounds. Uh, you'll also notice because this is not an official Sega game, this cartridge looks quite different than an actual Sega cartridge here. Um, these games uh, were very popular on the original Nintendo, too. They were popular to make on the original Nintendo. I don't know how many people outside of the um, homeschool Christian school scene played them, but um, and I say this as someone who went to a Christian school, uh, which I highly recommend, at least for me. So um, Let's punch this game in here. An unofficial Sega game here, so let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. well, this is weird. We just got a black screen here. <laughs> Did this thing crash the the, the at game Sega Genesis? Because usually what'll happen is it'll load the cartridge. It'll either just not load the cartridge or it'll load the cartridge. I've never actually seen this happen before. Let's try this again. Part of all the excitement of live television. Okay, take this out. Put it in. I again just played this on my Sega CDX, so I know this works. There's the eight games. Hmm. It's not looking like this will play on the eight game Sega Genesis. Which I'm not that surprised, because this is not an official Sega game, and if it's not playing Sonic 3, you know, what are the odds of it playing Exodus? Although I have seen uh, different YouTubers upload videos of people playing homebrew Sega games, which made me think that this would might work on this, but this, this won't even start the system, which is really weird. So, alright, so let's take this out. Exodus will not work on the Sega Genesis HD Classic. Um, let's try my favorite game on the Sega, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. <sighs> I played this game so much when I was younger. Uh, I really, 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 really like this game. That games. It's loading it. This is the first time I've actually played this game on this console. Cartridge detected. Sega, here we go. Capcom. And this game looks as good as it's ever looked. In fact, I think it's looked better than it's ever looked. Let's crank up the difficulty because I'm good at this game. Let's do a match. 
Uh, my favorite person to play in this game is... It's a toss-up between Ryu and Ken and Blanca. But Blanca, I am just extremely good at timing my fierce drop kicks with, <laughs> so... Oh, Ryu versus Blanca. Here we go. Let's see how this plays. There is a bit of lag on this, but it's not bad. And I've got Santino crawling on me for the extra handicap here. And now he's actually pulling on the cartridge while it's in the console. Careful, buddy. Oh, I lost. Maybe I shouldn't have turned up the difficulty. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Hi, buddy. All right, let's see if Daddy can win this here. There we go. There we go. This is uh, really just as fun as playing Street Fighter on the Super Nintendo Mini. So, um, although I like I did say there is a very very small amount of lag here. Like the things aren't quite as fluid as on the Sega hardware, but it's like super minor. I. It's actually not affecting my dropkick timing here. Head bite. Daddy wins. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. What else can we play on this? Let's check out. Tommy Lasorda Baseball. Look at this fine, fine picture of Tommy Lasorda here, buddy. Ooh, it's Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> this is interesting to me. Okay. Okay, so Street Fighter works really good. Teeny bit of lag, super fun to play. Um, all right, buddy, let's play Tommy Lasorda Baseball. I like, I really like this game a lot. Uh, let's pop in Tommy Lasorda. Hopefully he works. Now, what I'm really, again, curious to try out on this is the Fantasy Star games, which I've got in the other room. I might actually go grab them. Uh, because I tried playing Fantasy Star 4 on this, and it did not work. Oh, this is super cool. So this is loading the cartridge, not as Tommy Lasorda Baseball, but under its Japanese name. Oh, sorry, buddy. You okay? You okay? Um, under its Japanese name, Super League, which is really interesting. So let's check out how this, how this loads here. So it's loading okay. I don't, I don't remember if there was that green screen when this loaded. It's been a while since I played it. But this seems to be playing really well. This looks good. This is just a demo that's playing right now. Now, maybe I do remember that green Sega screen when this started. I have to check this out on the CDX. So this game is not licensed by Major League Baseball, but it does have players, so... Let's go to the East. This plays in New York. Play the Mets. I really, really like the music on this game, like the sprites. This game looks really good. It plays really well. No issues here. Music's good. And I'm strike gonna strike out here possibly, but
Hey, buddy. Ah. Wow, that was not good at all. Daddy might uh, be retired in order here. We'll see how it happens here. There you go. Ooh, I got a single. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pop out. Tomula sort of play ball, uh, Tomula sort of baseball is playing very, very well. Let's try another old school Sega game that was also endorsed by an 80s athlete, as was Sega's way of doing things. Buster Douglas Knockout Boxing. <sighs> to compete with uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Sega got the only guy who ever beat Mike Tyson up until Evander Holyfield, um, who's just a total cheater and annoying person, but Buster Douglas is really cool. Uh, so let's plug in Buster Douglas. All right, turn it on. So far, this has got a really good track record for random Sega games. Uh, so we'll try Fantasy Star 4 next, see what happens. James Buster Douglas Boxing. Looking good. Yeah. This game is also known as the Final Blow in uh, arcades. The boss of this game is uh, Mike Tyson in a luchador mask. I actually have a review for this game on my YouTube channel, so please check out the video game review section and check out my uh, review of Buster Douglas Knockout Boxing. That video was a while ago. I might have still had hair for that video. I don't remember. <laughs> all right, let's see how well this plays. Will be Buster Douglas. Let's play the game. With Ed Asner, the referee. <laughs> this game plays. It plays well. It plays just like the original. Come on. Backing him up. <laughs> Again, I really can't stress how good games look on this thing. They look really, 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 really good. Almost got him. Go down, go down. All right. Well, we get the point here. This is playing really well. Okay, so we'll pause it. I didn't actually realize uh, how good the music was when you pause this game, but it is really good. It's really, really good cool pause music here in fact uh, usually when people pause games the music stops but it's like the opposite with this game the cool music comes on when you pause it so in fact uh, this would be a good game to pause when you're cleaning the house so just listen to some cool tunes do you want to look at fantasy star 4 and see if that works on this mm. <laughs> all right let's uh let's check that out next So we're back here, and we have uh, Fantasy Star 4. I actually got this game in a loose cartridge, so I printed the very cool Japanese cover art, because for whatever reason, Sega of America was stupid and didn't print the cool Japanese cover art. Maybe they thought this uh, this uh, was too uh, sexy or something, but I don't know. I, th I love this cover art. I think it's beautiful. Um, so, Yeah, I am, absolutely. <laughs> Buddy, you want to get your diaper changed? 
Mm, let's see. Let's do. Let's see if this video works. Let's see if this game works. Then we'll get your diaper changed. So hold on, buddy. <laughs> we'll turn off Buster Douglas. Hold on. Fancy Star 4. This is the American version. This game is on this console, so if it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. We can play it anyway, but... <laughs> At games... This is loading it. This was not loading it last time. It's working. Although... It was working. Now I'm not getting any... No, this is glitched out. Yeah, this is all glitched out. So Fantasy Star 4 is not working on this. I wonder, uh, let's check out, although it's getting you the, it's at least got the logo on there. <laughs> so, Fantasy Star 4 does not work here. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, Santino has uh, got a fresh new diaper and uh, we have just looked at Fantasy Star 4. Uh, now we're going to look at another game, uh, which is Samurai Showdown for the uh, Sega Genesis, made by the fine people at uh, SNK. The cartridge is loaded, but will it play okay? Let's take a look. All right, here we go, Samurai Showdown. We're going to hit start on the controller. Sega comes on. That's good. Takahara. They made SNK's non-Neo Geo console games. Buddy, are you aware that a samurai fears nothing, struggles to triumph over evil, and lives for one purpose? What do you think that purpose is? I bet it's to destroy all enemies. It is. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hitting start and it's not working. This is this is uh, disappointing here. And I know this. I know the controller's in because I had to hit start to get this to work to to boot the game. So Samurai Showdown will play the demo, but I can't actually get the controller to work. And to give you further evidence that the uh, the controller look. But watch this. This is how you get uh, old on a real Sega controller. How you get the back to the menu, hit down, back to the menu. So Samurai Showdown doesn't work. Um, at least it's not working on mine. And I, I I blew on the game and everything, so that's disappointing. Um, let's take a look at um, NBA Jam. See how this plays here. This is my, one of my favorite games on Sega Genesis. Turn it on. At games. This is not loading. Okay, so I have gotten NBA Jam to work on this in the past. In fact, the first day I got it, I... Uh, I played NBA Jam on it. Let's try this again. Don't be upset. It's coming back. Oh no. Such a critic. I didn't think you were supposed to blow on those things because it adds moisture. No, I don't know. When I, I, I don't know. My breath is. Apparently not that moist. Now it's loading. See, it blew on it. Now it's working though. So mm. some people try to clean these things with Q-tips, but I, I'm not doing that. Now NBA Jam's working fine. So. Mhm. Mm 
we can uh, play as uh, the second president ever to be impeached, Bill Clinton. I'm Noel's wife. I'm the one that keeps him far from your <laughs> Not in the toilet. I, I totally did not build her. <laughs> yes, you did. This is like a weird science scenario. <laughs> he also dressed me. Actually, that is my sweatshirt. <laughs> Get out of here, you crazy robot. Must go on. Does not compute. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's see what happens here. <laughs> I gotta send that robot back to the shop. <laughs> Oh, I messed up the quote. Oh, well. We can't play as Bill Clinton right now. But it's okay. I know, I know. We shut it off. Uh, but NBA Jam is working okay. Um, let's try let's try something cool. Let's try Sonic and Knuckles with Sonic 2 in it and see what happens here. Okay, hold on. Now, if you play Sonic and 2 and Sonic and Knuckles, you should be able to play Sonic 2 with Knuckles in Sonic 2. But I don't know if that's going to happen here or not. It's loading, which is good. Okay, so now what we've got here, though, is we've got Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 2 on here. So what this means is we're going to be able to play Sonic 2 and Sonic and Knuckles on this thing, but we're not going to be able to play Sonic. We're not going to, play, we're not going to be able to play the Knuckles in Sonic 2. So I, I hit Sonic 2. So Sonic 2 works just fine on this, but... Okay, so that's good. Sonic 2 works. Sonic and Knuckles works, but no son but no Knuckles in Sonic 2. So, interesting stuff. Which means that um, you know, if we play I I I'm going to tell you this right now cuz I didn't film this, but just for the sake of time, I tried Sonic 3 and Knuckles in this thing, and it just plays Sonic and Knuckles. It won't even detect Sonic 3. Which me which makes sense because when I try to play Sonic 3 on this thing by itself, it won't work. So. Okay, let's um let's try Michael Jackson's Moonwalker and then we'll call it a video. Okay, don't be upset. I'm gonna turn this off. It'll come back on, it'll come back on. He's such a fan of the ad game Sega Genesis 16. It's okay. I'm gonna say hi to the video people. Okay, this is coming on. Okay, we hit start. Looks good, Sega. Moonwalker. This looks really good, it sounds really good. And we're in Club 30. Let's uh, put this closer so you can actually see how good this looks. Yeah. yeah, this plays identical to playing this on Sega hardware, so that's good. Okay, so Moonwalker works very well. Let's actually dance. <laughs> oh, buddy. Doing the smooth criminal. So, there we have it, guys. Moonwalker works quite well on this. So, um, we've tested a lot of games on this console, and for the most part, they play well. Um... However, there are some notable exceptions. The um, 
the Wisdom Tree uh, unofficial Sega cartridge. Uh, Exodus did not even start. The console wouldn't even start. Um, Fantasy Star 4 was very buggy. Sonic 3 won't even detect. Santino's dragging me off camera. <laughs> so, um, you know, that, so we, we've got a lot, lots, of his, lots of hits and a few misses here. Um, so, uh, but overall, uh, overall, it's, it's, you can play most of your Sega cartridges on this. I am disappointed that I can't play Samurai Showdown, so I'm gonna tinker with this some more and see how it goes, but, uh, there we have it, guys, so, uh, until next time, uh, my name is Noel, you take care, and I think Santino's gonna play some Moonwalker here. Bye-bye.